Vice President Mike Pence on Friday urged Georgians to vote Republican in the upcoming U.S. Senate runoffs. The runoffs will determine which party controls the upper congressional chamber. And because the Republican Senate majority could be the last line of defense for all that we've done to defend this nation, revive our economy, and preserve the God-given liberties that we hold dear. He also mentioned potential election fraud in the 2020 presidential election. We're going to keep fighting until every legal vote is counted. We're going to keep fighting until every illegal vote is thrown out. Pence said the Republicans will defend religious freedom, recalling a California senator's remark about Justice Amy Coney Barrett. And you all remember when Judge Amy Coney Barrett went through her confirmation two years ago. And the leading Democrat on the Senate Judiciary Committee said she was concerned about Judge Barrett's Catholic faith. She said, and I quote, the dogma lives loudly within you. And their allies in Hollywood have been attacking Judge Barrett's faith ever since. Well, I got news for the Democrats in Washington and two Democrats that want to join. That dogma lives loudly in me. That dogma lives loudly in you. And the right to live and worship according to the dictates of our faith lives loudly in the Constitution of the United States of America. Senators Kelly Loeffler and David Perdue failed to get a majority of votes in the November 3rd election, triggering twin runoffs with their Democratic challengers. We will never stop fighting for you, standing up against the radicalists, against socialism. We are going to get this job done. But today, we're the last line of defense against this country making a change to the left that we won't get to undo for maybe two, three, four, five generations. We cannot let that happen. Ronald Reagan reminded us of our responsibility. He reminded us that freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We don't pass it down in the bloodstream. It has to be fought for, protected, and passed on, or one day in our sunset years, we'll be sitting around telling our children and our grandchildren what it was once like in America when women and men were free. Not on our watch, guys. Kelly and I are asking you to stand with us. Stand in the breach here against socialism. Stand in the breach against Chuck Schumer. Stand in the breach against AOC. And let's make darn sure that the road to socialism never runs through the state of Georgia. The White House hasn't said whether President Trump will travel to Georgia to campaign for the senators. Bidenate Ron Klain said earlier this month that he believes Biden will visit the state.